Hey everyone, welcome back. Today I'm going to be showing you how you can make a crochet bikini bottom in any size. So for this project, I'm using a 4.5 and a 4mm hook, as well as some 100% cotton yarn. So the first thing I do is make a slip knot, and I'm also just using a bikini for reference. So I'm going to create a foundation chain. So this chain is going to create the center seam of the bikini bottom and you want it to be the length of the center seam on the bikini bottom you already have or you could just take this measurement. Once I have that I'm just going to chain three more to create the end stitch and I'm going to switch to my four millimeter hook and place a double crochet into the fourth chain from the hook. And then I'm just going to place one double crochet all the way along that foundation chain. So once I get to the end, I'm just going to take it back to the bikini bottom and double check to make sure it's the good length. Then I'm going to turn it over, chain three, and just do a row of double crochet, working underneath both loops. And when I get to the end here, I want to make sure I'm placing my last double crochet into the top of that chain three. So I'm just going to kind of continue to use the bikini bottom as a guide for now. And then after that, when I'm happy with the length of this first piece, I'm going to start increasing. So for this next row, when I turn my work, I'm going to chain three and then place a double crochet right away into that first space. And then I'm going to double crochet until I get to the end. And when I'm at that top of that turning chain, I'm going to place my last double crochet and one additional double crochet into that same space. So I'm going to continue increasing throughout this center part here until I get about this high. And it's just going to be the same process. So turn, chain three, place a double crochet into that same space. And then one double crochet till the end. And then we're going to increase at the end of this row as well. So once I get the bikini about as high as I'd like, I'm going to stop and then for the final two rows, I'm just going to do two rows of double crochet without an increase. So chain three and then go into the next stitch where you would usually start your double crochets if you were just doing regular double crochet rows. And then I'm going to double crochet again all the way across until I get to the end and no increases on this row. And then I'm going to turn over and do another row straight across of double crochet without increase. So I'm just checking again to make sure that this is a good height and then I'm going to just fasten off the end here and clip my yarn so that I can do the back of the bikini. So you just want to turn over your bikini piece now and I'm going to actually work into the end that doesn't have the tie. 
so it's like the side that's chained and I'm just going to slip my hook in there and then secure my yarn by pulling it through and creating a knot. Once that's done, I can do my chain three and then I'm going to double crochet one time all the way across this row without any increasing. If you did want your bikini bottom to be a little bit wider in the back and less cheeky, you could um, start increasing right away and that would give you a little bit more coverage. But for me, I just wanted to kind of go one row of straight double crochets and then I'm going to start my increasing. So you can check and see the shape of your bikini bottom. For me, I was fine with it coming out this way. And I'm just going to uh, start my increases on this second row because I want it obviously to be wider than the front. But um, but I'm not too worried about it. Uh, but I wasn't worried about it needing to be any wider than it made it. The bikini bottom I used actually had a lot of coverage, so I just used it as a reference and then I kind of went and made my own shape. Okay, so once I have that first row, I'm gonna turn over, chain three, and then I'm going to be increasing the back the exact same way that I did the front, just starting it on that second row instead of doing five rows of double crochet first. And then if you want to check, you can fold it along that center seam and then make sure it's kind of working up how you like. I'm going to continue this one as high as I did the front, so the same number of rows of increase. And then once again, I'll be doing those two rows of just plain double crochet across the top. So you can see when I fold it over, it's definitely worked up to be larger in the back. And that's just because we had those extra rows in the front of straight double crochet before the increase. So just make sure you have the same number of rows in each side of the bikini before you start your increase. So not rows of increase, but rows. So make sure you have the same number of rows from the center seam before you do those two rows of straight double crochet. So again, just doing those two rows of straight double crochet here to finish off the back. And then I just want to double check everything looks good and without fastening off I'm going to go ahead and do a border all the way around in single crochets. So I start by just chaining one, going into that same chain space with a single crochet and I'm going to single crochet all the way along the back of the, the top of the back of the bikini first and then I will just turn and work my way down the sides in one continuous piece. So when I get to the corner here, I'm going to place a single crochet into that last stitch, so the top of that turning stitch, and then I'm going to place another one, so another single crochet into that same turning chain so that I can turn the corner. So you want to be putting two single crochets into the same space when you get to the corners, so four times. And then when I get to the sides here, I'm placing one single crochet into each post along the side, as well as one single crochet into the space below the post. So just when you get to the center here, just be careful and make sure that you pull the, the starting thread tight so that it doesn't come apart. And then I'm just going to continue single crocheting all the way around, making sure to put two single crochets into each corner to turn. Okay. 
Now when I get back to that first stitch, I'm just going to slip stitch into it and then I can secure my yarn. The last step is to create two ties to join the front and back. So for me, I just switched back to my smaller hook and I'm just making a long chain for the tie. I didn't want to work back on it at all because I wanted it to be nice and thin. I think I made about 80 or 90 chains for my ties, just working them once. And then when I get to the end, I'm going to fasten off and just leave that like that for now. So then I'm going to join them just through the sides of those two rows of double crochets, so the posts on the sides I thought was a good place to use, so just hook and pull them through. Make sure the strings are even, and then you can pull it through on the row below as well so that they cross back and forth. Just like that. So you want it to have a little cross back and forth. Now to finish off those ties, I'm just tying the end in a little knot. And then I'm just going to clip off those tails because I didn't want to bother trying to hide that tail in the chain. So I'm just going to clip it off. And that's it. Once that's done, you can tie up the sides and the bikini bottom is finished. Thank you guys for watching, hopefully you enjoyed this tutorial and you try it out for yourselves. If you did like this, feel free to subscribe and I will be coming out with a matching bikini top for this guy as well as other crochet and sewing tutorials.